Do you find yourself reacting negatively rather than positively? Is your natural inclination to say no rather than yes? Using negatives creates stress. If you understand how the brain works, this is easy to remember. The brain cannot picture a negative image. Allow me to explain the reason that using the negative is ineffective. Think of your last dream. Not that you remember the dream, but think of how your brain envisioned it. Did you dream in paragraphs, in words, or in pictures, illusions, or images? The brain thinks visually, not verbally. Simply stated, the brain does not think in words. It visualizes. This is the reason that using negatives is so ineffective. When people tell others what not to do, what follows the don't is what the brain images. You can reduce your stress by following this simple adage. Communicate what you want rather than what you don't want because what you don't want is negative. I was in an airport waiting room and saw a youngster try to run down the passenger boarding ramp connected to the airplane. The security guard stopped the youngster and said, don't go there. I was amused because I figured that the youngster would try going down the ramp again. Sure enough, the youngster tried it again. How did I anticipate this? Simple, people don't visualize don't. They visualize what they hear after the negative. In that situation, the kid visualized, go there. You may be familiar with counterwill, the natural human tendency to resist coercion of any kind. You see it in the terrible twos and in teen rebellion, where the drive for independence is very powerful. These are just two common examples of young people intentionally doing the opposite of what they are told to do. An antidote to counter well is to be positive in communications rather than negative. Simply say or promote what you want rather than what you do not want. Don't run in the hall becomes we walk in our hallways. Stop that becomes is there a better way? Don't call your brother names becomes how can you address your brother so he doesn't get angry? So here's a tip. Always talk to people what you want rather than what you don't want if you want to become more effective and reduce your stress for everyone involved.